Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Common Sense. So this morning, I was watching a video made by Achievement Hunter and randomly decided to check out the comment section. Browsing through, I saw a lot of typical, was anyone else surprised that Gavin was actually good? Or, I just started to upload videos, but it's really difficult to get noticed on YouTube. I hope you guys give me a chance. But randomly, out of the blue, I found a comment that didn't make much sense. It said, as much as I love the fact they're doing a Last of Us Let's Play, I really wish they'd actually look at the buttons or do a practice round before the Let's Play, so they have more of an idea of what they're actually doing. Now I can understand how people might feel about this, but overall doing so would be a bad idea for Rooster Teeth. Now in order to understand this, we first need to understand comedy. Naturally, the first step in doing this would be to search the definition of comedy. So I went ahead and typed it into Merriam-Webster Dictionary to find this. Number 1. Comedy. A play, movie, television program, novel, etc. that is meant to make people laugh. 2. Things that are done and said to make an audience laugh. Comic entertainment. 3. The funny or amusing part of something. Now the real question is, what part of this makes this comment fail to make any common sense? Drumroll, please! And the answer is definition number two! Now you might be wondering, how on earth does that disapprove the comment? And don't worry. It took me a few seconds to realize it as well. The key phrase of this definition that helps disprove this comment is the things that are done part. In many different types of comedy, comedians will do specific actions to quote unquote prepare for their act. Preparation is an essential part of comedy. For if there is no basis to the comedy, then most people will have a difficult time understanding it. So the real question is, what type of comedy is Rooster Teeth using? So this time I decided to visit my good old friend www.dailywritingtips.com and search for the best types of humor. The result came out quite nicely, if I do say so myself. I found the page called 20 Types of Forms of Humor, which sounds rather redundant, but works nonetheless. Once on this page, I ravaged through in order to find the sense of humor that Rooster Teeth is using. The first type of humor they delve into is Anecdotal, named after the word anecdote, which stems from the Greek term meaning unpublished, refers to the comic personal stories that may be true or partially true but embellished. We hear this type of comedy all the time from Rooster Teeth community. Just watch some of the Rooster Teeth animated shorts and you'll know what I mean. But this has little to do with our essential common sense, so let's move on to the second type of humor. High or high brow. Humor pertaining to cultured, sophisticated themes. Now most of you are no doubt surprised. I can already picture the comments. Challenge Map Salvage, what on earth do you consider to be sophisticated when it comes to rooster teeth? I mean, they're drinking beer, not tea. And that may be true, but this is also talking about cultured themes. Culture derives from not only the types of food that we eat, or the places that we live, but culture also derives from the forms of entertainment that we consume. Let it be from various movies, books we read, or video games that we play. But once again, this proves to be difficult to disprove the original comment. But there is one more type of humor that is used by Rooster Teeth. This type of humor is what strongly disproves this comment. This humor style is known as juvenile or sophomoric. Humor involving childish themes such as pranks, name-calling, and other immature behavior. This comedy is essentially the stupidity of humor, but at the same time, some of the most enjoyable types of humor. Some people call this dumb humor, and is most known not throughout a single country, but throughout the entire world. It is difficult for different cultures to understand jokes made by others, but if we throw in a little bit of immature behavior, then we can just get anyone to laugh. This is what I would consider to be the most universal of humor types. We can find this type of humor within every culture, 
let it be African, Asian, German, or Dutch. This humor is absolutely everywhere and is good for all ages. By having this type of humor, Rooster Teeth is then able to expand to a much larger audience. The best way to show this is to look up a list called the 25 Funniest Movies Ever. On this list, the first few movies are Meet the Parents and Napoleon Dynamite. Now as we all know, these movies have some seriously childish humor. But at the same time, they've both reached the top of some of the most funniest movies of all time. The reason for this is that it can easily breach what is known as the language barrier. This barrier makes it difficult for different cultures to understand one another. This would include sayings and different attitudes toward things. Due to this, many people have a hard time understanding different movies and games. That is why Rooster Teeth uses this form of comedy. By letting their stupidity show, they are then able to entertain a larger variety of people throughout the entire world. So the simple reason that they didn't learn the controls beforehand was to make themselves sound dumber and hopefully will make more hilarious mistakes. Whereas if they knew how to play the game extensively, they wouldn't make those mistakes and it would be less funny. So I hope that all of you enjoyed. If you liked this video, click the like button or leave a comment. Also, if you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and click the subscribe button so you will be notified on my latest rants and games.